Let's talk about how to start a daily note-taking habit. If you don't yet have a note-taking or journaling practice that you do every day, that might be one of the easiest things that you can implement in your life that will both have an immediate effect on your quality of life, but also have compounding benefits later on, like increased clarity of thinking, better creativity, having better ideas. All of these things come from note-taking practices. And apart from that, it just becomes something that you really enjoy. I think doing my morning journaling or morning note-taking is honestly one of the favorite parts of my day. And it helps me a lot mentally too. I did a previous video on how daily journaling can help with mental health. But in this one, I want to talk about how to actually develop a daily habit, because I think this is something some people struggle with. And I think the reason they struggle with that is because they make it too complicated right off the bat. And in myself personally, when I fail to develop habits, that's typically what has happened. I go in too fast, too hard. So let's talk about a starting place. Now, I think that Reflect is the perfect app to develop a daily note-taking habit because of its daily note structure. So that's what I'm in right now. Each day has a daily note. It goes on towards the infinity and actually back towards infinity as well. So what's nice about this is that you always have a place to go each and every single day. It automatically comes on your daily note. You plop down and you're just ready to start writing. So in my opinion, that's half the battle. You have the environment set up. You know exactly where to go. You're not just kind of wondering what to do. So I used to do mine in a physical notebook that honestly also worked quite well. I just always carried it with me and I knew where to start each morning. Now I use the daily note structure in Reflect. So step one, have your system ready. Mine's Reflect, could be a notebook, could be anything. But if you're using a note-taking app or a notebook that doesn't say have uh, anything pre-divided into days like this, you're going to need to create an artificial system. So either create a new note each day or... Maybe even better, have one ongoing note where you just put in a new header. for the day. Okay, so let's talk about the second step. The second step is what you are actually going to write and take notes on. And this is, of course, largely up to you, but I have two recommendations. And each one sort of depends on your goals. So if you're wanting to do a daily note-taking habit, say for productivity and mental organization, then I would recommend just starting to log your day in your daily note. So what that will look like at the start is just writing down everything you have to do in the day. And that can just be done by a simple to-do list. So I can start making one or actually maybe I even want to label it to-dos or something. And then I'll have a to-do list here and I can just start writing everything I need to do in the day. So I'm preparing for a trip. So I need to apply for a travel permit. I need to record a demo video. I have a doctor's appointment, as I can see on my calendar over there. I need to draft a blog post. And I'll just keep going on and on. I'll think of everything that I need to do in the day. And it's actually quite a relaxing place to start your day. Much better than opening up your email inbox first thing or your Slack messages. So use this as sort of a therapeutic moment to set your day and everything that you need to do. Now, the second step after that is actually start logging what happens in your day. So you could either do this in the to-do list. Uh, so you could say apply for a travel permit. You could take notes underneath it. Or you could just start uh, a separate list as a daily log. And this is actually what I like doing because I don't like these to appear as to-do list items. I like this to be a log of what I actually did in the day. So it's still my morning this time. So I can say I did do my daily journaling this morning. I promise this is my demo notebook, but I did it in my real one. And then I got caught up emails and messages. I published a blog post. And now I am I'm recording a demo video. And then after this, I'm going to go to a doctor appointment. So I'll say went to the doctor. And then anything that happens in the doctor's appointment, I can also write this underneath here. Um, that's kind of one more layer of complexity, but I do think that that's a pretty easy habit to get into. So uh, I'm going to the doctor for a hand issue and maybe I'll say have new physical therapy routine. And I'd probably honestly write here what that routine was so that I can remember it. Cool. So that's kind of method one. This is in my mind perhaps the easiest way to start a note-taking habit. 
And the to-do list is particularly fun for me because I think it kind of just empties my mind and I start the day off in a much more calm way. So method one, start logging out your to-do list in a daily note and then start logging just what happened in the day. That's it. Don't worry about analyzing anything. Don't worry about uh, making any sort of complex formatting, just a to-do list and a daily log. Okay, so let's talk about the second way. Now, the second method is more of a daily journaling technique, which I think still classifies as note-taking. So this one's going to be much more oriented around feeling better, calm state of mind, uh, these kind of more mental aspects versus productivity note-taking. So what was key to me is having something that I can call on each morning. So I like to do a daily journal technique that's a combination of gratitude journaling and a reframing exercise and then maybe like a top priority or something. Now, if I had to go in here and write that out every day so that I just said daily journal and I start going typing out, reframing, thought A, like that's just kind of annoying and I'm probably not going to do it. It takes a long time. It's cumbersome. So what I'm going to do is build out a template that I can call on each morning. So I'm going to go into preferences here and reflect. They make it really easy. So here you can see some templates I have already, uh, like a daily habits one. I uh, just did a video on that, but I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it daily journal. And then what I like to do is this is getting a little bit complex, but I'm going to create a note that says daily journal there that's linked because then I can just go reference them. But again, if you're just trying to start the habit, you can maybe even ignore that for now, even if uh, you're using reflect or a note taking app that has backlinking. Um, if you're curious on why I do that, you can go uh, watch the individual video on backlinking that I made. But here I am just going to write the things that I want to do. So I'm going to say Gratitude. Wow, so, so much trouble is falling today. Um, and then underneath it, you can say number one, number two, number three. We'll say I stop at number three. And then I want to say reframing, and I'll put A, B, C. And then uh, I'll just say top priority. So you can put anything in here you want. It's, it's genuinely whatever you want your daily journal to be. So some people do top of mind. Some people do, um, gosh, I feel like I've seen a bunch over the year. But anyway, you can do put whatever you want in here. Uh, we don't need to click save. So I'm just going to go back into my daily note. And now is where the magic happens. Because now I can just pull up that template. And now I'm ready to go. That's the first thing I can do every single morning. And I can just start putting in things I'm grateful for. I got a, a full night of sleep. Um, we can say, I have very fun work tasks today. And maybe I'll get a unique with one. I finally have my doctor's appointment because I've been waiting for a long time on this. So you can see having the template just makes it easier. The reframing one is usually where I write something that I'm anxious about. So this morning I'll say, I leave in less than a week for my trip and have a lot to do. And if I'm reframing that in a positive way, I'll say, I get to leave from my trip in less than a week. And then for C, I like to kind of just give myself a little boost of how I like to think of it as how the best version of myself would would handle something. So um, I'll say stay calm and get shit done because I find that very motivating. Um, and then I'll say maybe my top priority is um, get through all of my work tasks. That's kind of a boring one. I usually try to make them more exciting. But so you get the idea of what a daily journal can look like. Now, you can use all of these together, and all of a sudden, you've got a great daily note here. So we've got a to-do list. I know what I need to do in my day. I've got a daily log, so I know what's actually happening in my day, and a daily journal. And once I kind of complete these, you know, I actually usually do the daily journal first. I'm not sure why I did it out of order in this video, but I'll kind of collapse that to keep it clean. And 
Uh, the nice thing about the daily journal then too is if you backlink these and same thing with the daily log, I could backlink this. And this is of course my demo journal. So I haven't done any of these yet, but you can see here down below that after a while, all of your daily logs will start to build up. So, uh, you'll just have a list of all the dates here and you can pull into each individual day and see exactly what you were doing on any individual day. Similarly, when you backlink the daily reflection, you can go in and see all the daily reflections that you've done and so on and so forth. So kind of a unique thing of backlinking, but again, you don't need a fancy tool for this. This is a very basic format. The templates thing is very nice, but the important thing is just that you know where you're going to start taking notes each morning and what you're going to do with that note-taking technique.